All right, guys, greetings from uh, La Posada here in uh, Winslow, Arizona. Going to give you guys a little bit of a little bit of a tour here. Uh, little disclaimer first. Uh, this is a very, very uh, kind of sanctimonious place. Uh, very quiet and uh, very relaxing. So I'm not going to do a, a whole bunch of talking. Uh, I don't want to interrupt anybody with what they're saying or who they're talking to here. But uh, I will give you as much uh, in-depth stuff as I can. A uh, little known fact here is that uh, when it was built, obviously, in 1930, 29 and 1930, uh, the main entrance was here at the tracks, right? Because all the passenger trains would be stopping here. And uh, they would, the, the majority of people that would partake in this uh, establishment would come from the train. So we're going to go in that way. Um, this garden and uh, lawn out here, um, if you, I'm not going to give you a whole in-depth, uh, you know, history on the building, but uh, if you're interested in it, um, very, very um, in-depth and uh, the uh, designer, Mary Coulter, the architect, Mary Coulter, she uh, had a very interesting uh, take on the building itself and what it was actually, uh, in her mind, in her fantasy, meant to be. But, uh, and you also have to bear with me, uh, it's going to get kind of dark inside, so I'm going to have to play with the settings on the camera as well. But uh, I'll do my best, guys, okay? Pretty nice sitting area out here. Uh, to the left here is going to be the uh, dining room. They uh, <clears throat> this is originally a uh, Harvey House hotel, okay, and uh, its main function back in those days was feeding people. Its hotel was kind of a secondary function, but. Uh, You look right here this particular uh, joist in the wall here or this uh, this cut right here um, they added that on in the uh, World War two years because they were feeding so many people and uh, all the soldiers as they were going off to war would stop here and they would get a get one of their last meals in the states before they uh, went off the war so kind of neat um, as they would have arrived by train if you were a train passenger obviously you would get you would go over here this was the actual train station itself uh, it's now a museum uh, and unfortunately at this hour it's closed so uh, if you get a chance to check that out it's actually pretty neat uh, they have the original benches that were used uh, back in the 30s and 40s in there but uh, just a really relaxing environment here. We're going to go back down the corridor here and hang a right into the actual building. Uh, and then to the right, you're going to see inside the restaurant. Uh, forward is going to be what now is the main entrance. And then you're going to see uh, to the left, which we'll, we'll hang a left and go down that way, um, another hallway that goes to some of the guest rooms and where the... Uh, main ticketing area used to be See, this room here would have been the main ticketing area. They've got a 
old photograph here which if we can try and recreate that is right about here so that's pretty neat ticket counter was behind here we'll go back up that way here shortly out there that uh, the architect uh, designed into the building. Apparently a lot of plants out here that are not, excuse me, are not native to this area. So in order for them to survive, based on the south-southwest wind that blew, you know, a hot, arid, dry, nasty air, uh, this garden is on the north side of the building surrounded by two parts of the building so um, it gets protection from the, from those winds which is how this is all able to be uh, to be done here so pretty uh, pretty neat design especially for back in the 30s when you know they didn't have air conditioning or or modern uh, modern amenities like we have today so it's uh, absolutely stunning place here one of my favorite places in the whole building is a staircase here so if you look at the staircase here we've got an old photo of what appears to be have been a wedding at one time really nice All these uh, brass or cast iron handrails are all original here. This is one corridor of uh, rooms here. Excuse me. We're gonna head back this way. Show you the ballroom area. stuff along the way here. Of course you can hear the trains going by at all all times here. This is what this room looked like uh, after the railroad had sold it and put it up for uh, demolition. They had really altered it and made it look like crap. These ceilings are up here are the original ceilings uh, that were covered up. But it's a beautiful room. This is what they call the ballroom. These chairs here are uh, the same ones that would have been in the train station for passengers waiting to get on the train. We'll go out front here shortly, but I also want to show you a little balcony area here.
this is now the main entrance right here that we're looking at. So back in the day, people would have came here and they would have read books or entertained their people in their party and, and whatnot. But it's nice to see it. They restored it back to close to its original condition here. I'm not going to talk too much in this other area because it's the uh, the main uh, kind of reception area and check-in for the hotel. But what it used to be was the main dining room. It's since been kind of cut in half in order to accommodate a gift shop and their back area for storage and stuff. But uh, what are, that's the, 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 excuse me, the, the, this is what it is now. Uh, it's a gift shop and uh, the main uh, reception area. This is now the main entrance of the hotel here. They had to recreate this whole area um, in order to accommodate ADA standards. Uh, but originally, this, uh, this entrance here was for um, Motor coaches, you know, but of course, back in the 30s, you don't have motor coaches, but, um, you know, cars and stuff or couriers to drop off baggage and stuff like that. And there's actually a, a set of stairs right here. Uh, but they've since gone in and totally redid this whole area. Um, the driveway got pulled out. Uh, it's obviously replaced by this nice garden. And and uh, they had to put this walkway in to, like I say, accommodate the ADA uh, patrons here. And uh, but what a fantastic structure here. Get you a little picture of the front sign and we'll go back in and we'll head over to the other side of the hotel where my room's at. Show you guys that. But yeah, what a, what a gorgeous, gorgeous building. And of course, right next to Route 66 right here. Head on back inside here. <laughs> I'm over here in the east side of the hotel on this trip. Second floor, room 243. Like I said, this whole area right here used to be part of the main dining room and they had a little terrace uh, that's since been obviously expanded outward here um, for uh, for this garden. But uh, this whole bottom bottom part here used to be the main dining room. In this next hallway, they're going to have a bunch of pictures of people who stayed here Michelle? when it was uh, an active hotel back in the day before they closed it. Michelle? Of course, we got some big names. Of course, we got Frank Sinatra here. We got uh, Amelia Earhart, Judy Garland, Dean Martin, Harry Truman. Okay, and then once again, we got a nice little hallway here. Excuse me. And we've got uh, some more historic photographs here. One of my favorites in this whole building is uh, this one right here. 
shows all of the Harvey houses that were uh, in operation at the time of uh, its uh, creation. And what I, what I like about it is, uh, of course, I'm from uh, I'm from here, right? And Wichita, they all had one as well. And uh, and now some of the only ones that are left are going to be uh, in uh, New Mexico and Las Vegas, Winslow, and. Uh, Albuquerque still has theirs, but they don't operate it as one. But, uh, of course, you get a little bit of a view outside here. Camera doesn't want to focus all that well on it. But. My room's down in this hallway here. But before we go there, I'm going to show you what used to be the office space they had converted uh, in the 60s when Santa Fe took over uh, total ownership of the hotel. They've since converted into an art gallery, but you can still kind of see the, um, you know, they got like the bare bones structure of the building here and they had a drop ceiling and stuff and you can see where they where they bolted stuff into the floor for partitions and such but uh, and then the last little spot before we head back the other way is going to be the tower middle tower area of the building one area which I wish I'll uh, hope to stay at soon uh, but this area here short of a couple of places basically you can tell this this archway is not you know original or in its current structure but like this area here um, is where we just came from okay so that's that view okay you can see the window at the very end still the same but they knocked out um, all the rooms that were on this side and they're totally gone and it doesn't look like they're gonna uh, re repurpose that but uh, still a very beautiful area uh, and like I said, all of these floors, um, these floors here are original to the building as well. One of Mary Coulter's uh, wishes that she was able to do everything she wanted to the building, including the, the floors, the furniture, and every uh, interior detail that she could. I'm going to head on over to the room now. So here's 243, like I mentioned. So, named after Samantha Egger. And there's a Whirlpool slash Jacuzzi suite room. Um, you can get several different types of rooms here. The Whirlpool room all have uh, king size beds in them. You can get a couple with a couple queens and uh, regular king they also have a couple rooms with a balcony that you can go out in that are original to the to the hotel as well uh, <clears throat> this particular one i really like how they design all these and of course i got a pretty awesome view here but uh, they kind of use like this spanish revival mission style um there don't mind my towel here but it's uh doing really really well we'll be utilizing the tub for a salt bath later sleeping on the concrete ground last night definitely didn't do me any favors but uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tour uh i will be back up here at the end of the year again for another trip so uh or at least at least uh, one more stay so uh if you want to see more of this uh 
let me know and uh, I will definitely do what I can to accommodate for you. Uh, but uh, above all, uh, if you're interested in this, make a trip out and uh, check it out for yourself. I think you'd uh, anybody would probably really enjoy this place. It's uh, very peaceful and it kind of takes on its own, uh, kind of has an aura all its own that really can't be explained with words. You kind of have to come check it out for yourself. So uh, <clears throat> definitely put it on your bucket list if you're interested in history. It's uh, full of full of good history here. So. That'll conclude our tour of La Posada for this trip, and uh, we'll catch you guys later.